I'm gonna try to see into far of the future as possible. Both knowing both of these players, Munel, um, from the times that I've played them, they have gotten very, um, what's the word? I I'm very unsure what to do in a lot of situations where people can kind of just run away and kind of get away with it for free. Um, and that is primarily what Dill does. She has a very strong defensive game, and you'll just see a lot of situations where it's just like, you can't touch her. Yeah, when, when Dill gets the download on you, it can be very frustrating because you just you feel like you're being so outplayed. It's, um, so it's definitely like Dill is a player that shines in those game threes. You know, shines the longer the set goes on. Um, so Munel is gonna have to be really composed and not like even once break his like solid game plan. Speaking of composed, already putting on 58% with a cute little type moment. But Ooh. just retaliating immediately with an extra just 51% coming in from Munel. Getting Ooh. that nice call out on the spot dodge and just trying to break a lot of space that, you know, Dill kind of wants. And trying to use the gyro. Very nice, very smart. But trying to just, you know, eat up some damage, quite literally. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really nice because if you can take away gyro from Rob, it's, it's a whole different story. So um, if Munel can be really, like, nice with his placements of bite and eat the gyro um it's gonna really shut down how dill manages to break wario's space because wario is really good airspeed they can jump above the laser they can jump above a lot of stuff um so dill's gonna have to be careful and i really love the way if we're gonna be talking about dill the way that she's actually been playing she's also been trying to um kind of retaliate in the sense of trying to um, you know, break some space as well. Come, you know, just trying to make sure that even though, you know, she kind of is using a lot of gyro, she is trying to make sure that she isn't falling behind in a lot of percent, just trying to keep up with the way that Munel's playing. But this is where we should start seeing a little bit of a different game. Dill does have rage and so does Munel, but this is kind of where we're going to need to see, you know, a little bit of, ooh. Stocks that might be taking Ooh. soon, and speaking of stocks being taken, that laser is going to take that first stock on Munel, and we're just going to see Dill do her thing. And another interesting thing, um, Munel, uh, or this kind of matchup is going to be one where you're taking a long time between each stock, and that's really beneficial for Wario because the longer the game goes on, the more wops you can get, and if you can like get two a game, that could potentially be two stocks taken at 40%, which is like you know huge. So, um, despite Manel being down right here, Ooh. taking that stock was really big because now Waff's on deck against Dill. And speaking of the stocks, this is looking very scary. Good patience from Manel right there. That could have been death. Absolutely. We need to see a little bit more of that patience as we're getting into this over here. Needs to choose a lot of their situations a lot more, um, you know, a little bit more smart only because they have done a lot of situations. Oh, that normal getup was going to take that stock right there. However, there's a lot of situations where they are just trying to fight Dill and doesn't really look like they have too many options because a lot of the options that they do have is just Nair and like trying to bite Gyra most of the time. And they kind of need to be a little bit more, you know, mindful of how they actually approach this situation right here. Yeah, right there, that could have been a lot of percent, but Dill managing to up till out of that. And the thing is about Rob is even though the game goes really like slow, you could just die at any moment. So it's like you're taking this like percent chipping game, but Rob does not need like that much percent to just end your life. Actually, Rob needs zero percent to end your life. <laughs> they can kill you at literally zero. Speaking of killing things that kill at zero, we have Waft on deck. So this is exactly what we need in order to kind of make this a little bit at most even more Ooh. even of a game and just missing that parry punish right there. That's brutal. This is a little bit scary for Moon now because they really need to take the stock before this could be really bad. And, and that back is going to do it. Yeah, and I think this is what Munel was going for with the waft. I think they were not going to not use it while Dill was at 100 and just try to take the stock normally because now they have an opportunity to take the stock really early. So Dill's going to have to be really careful. Pretty much the thing is... Um, it's hard to combo into Waft unless Wario lands on you first, because especially now that up to a Waft is not a true confirm anymore. Did that just that just hit twice? That, that just was messed up. into itself. That was messed up. Oh, all right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but I think Dill knows that Lunel is trying to land on her with like 
a really good iron calls out right there. <laughs> but yeah, Dill did a lot in that last dock. Um, Dill did just a lot of like dash back gyros to catch landing, um, like or just up air call outs or fading air call outs because all Wario wants right there is to land a nair that can combo into up air, that can combo into walk and kill you at nothing. And the thing is, as good as that option is, if you know it's coming, Dill is a player that can scout it out. Especially since that, you know, kind of is, you know, one of, you know, Wario's, you know, um, what's it called? Conditions. Uh, conditions. Win conditions. Win conditions. Thank you. <laughs> um, since that is Wario's kind of primary, primarily win condition at that moment, it's kind of just like, uh, it was just, you know, at that point, it, it was just a done deal because, you know, that's what they needed to kill. But anyways, getting into the, the second game, we have Small Battlefield. And I kind of like this because Small Battlefield is a really good stage and kind of just, you know, breaking space a lot more easier than normal coming from PS2. PS2 is more of a bigger stage, so you can see how it actually works out in Wario's favor. However, it's, it's not working out right now because what we're seeing is Munel with 95%, wasn't gonna say 97, but 95% getting that grab, but still is just going to break out of that combo. Yeah, and at disadvantage, Munel's been opting to wait a lot, which can be good. The thing is, as patient as Munel can be, Dill is a queen of patience. She, she will stand there and wait for you to do something, so um, Munel's like mix ups are just not getting through to her. I mean, you kind of need a lot more mix, especially when getting off the ledge, because it's just like you're kind of choosing the same consistent options, and you know, Dill can pretty much cover that easily, especially since it's Wario. What does she have to be scared about a little, a little fart fart for? Mm -hmm. Nothing, clearly. <laughs> I mean, for sure, but we're already on our second stock, and at 80%, this is looking a little bit scary for Munel because it's looking like he is getting, you know, just called out for every single landing that he does. And speaking of landings, getting that nice snare to hit, but not gonna get too much off of it just entirely yet. Okay. Very, oh, that was a very aggressive call out right there. Not gonna get that down air. However, we are in a very scary situation because Ooh. the upper looks like it wants to come out, but instead of the upper, it's the laser button that go brr. Yeah. Taking that second stock, this is looking very scary for Munel. And, and this is the thing with Dill is you can have a close ish game one and think, like, oh, I can win, but it turns out Dill has been down on you the entire time and is going to destroy you even more game two. And we're just seeing that right here. It's just a complete dominance right now, calling out everywhere Munel's going to be. Uh, Waft, as nice as that is, if uh, Wario gets to stock right here, even if we do get a Waft combo, it's still a hefty lead for Dill. So it's this is just a very intense deficit. Oh, yep, and there it was right there. I'm going to be completely honest, though, you know, we know that she scouts out a lot of things, but that was probably one of the most things that she's actually scouted out, was just a lot of the ledge options that, you know, Munel try to just be a little bit too patient. You know, it comes to a point where it's just like she positioned herself in a, a way that it's just like, you know, hey, I can get back onto stage and get center stage for free. Yeah. And he didn't do that. So, Dill, she kind of just took advantage. Yeah, 100%. It was, it's just like, Munel um, tried to, like, tried to be crafty, but the thing is, no matter what, like, option you have up your sleeve, you still have to do it, and Dill just waits for you to do it. Like, so, it was, um, it just, like, was a story of Dill being significantly more patient, and Munel starting to be really, li <laughs> <laughs> really linear with how he's trying to get in Dill's space. But period, that was a really good set coming in from both players, as we do have. But we 